Hi everyone, welcome back to science. Nice to see you. So do you remember last time you did some really great observations about the corn and the peas? All of you were doing really great drawings and descriptions that you were writing about or recording yourself talking about the observations that you noticed. Such a great, great job. And today we are going to do our last observation of the coneflower and the daisies. But before we do that, I have to give a special thank you to Eitan in K114. You saved the day. I almost forgot about the coneflowers and the daisies, but you sent me a message. You said, Mr. Rubenstein, what about those two? I almost forgot. That was my accident. <laughs> so thank you so much, Eitan, for helping remember that. So all of you are going to take a good look at those two. Um, the only problem, though, is do you remember when I planted these a long time ago, I didn't do half daisy and half coneflower, did I? I sprinkled all of them in together, so I actually don't know which one is coneflower and which one <laughs> are daisies because they haven't bloomed yet. So I don't know their, um, which one is which because they don't have their uh, flowers happening. Anyway, but they are very interesting to look at still. So you'll have a good look at those. All right, so last time all of you drew the corn and you did your observation of the peas. So you did your observation, and now I'm gonna take my turn to do my observation of the corn. Okay, here I go. Hi everybody. Okay, so guess who did not press the record button when they were drawing the plants? It was me. So that's okay, accidents happen. So um, I thought I took video recording, but that's not what happened, and that's okay. So here's the pea plant. So take a look at this. I was um, making my observations of this. The first thing I was noticing about the pea plant is look at this. Whoosh. It's falling down. So I have learned recently that a pea plant actually is special because it needs help climbing. And look, they have these little tendrils at the end. Let's see if I can find you some. Yeah, do you see those parts at the end? So those are the tendrils and they are so special for the pea because they help for it to grab onto things, almost like little fingers. So they can keep growing higher and higher and higher. And so that's one thing that I was noticing. So I put that over here and they have them growing out of their ends. They're also called little shoots. You could call them that too, shoots. And I also noticed that the pea plant has really, really thin stems compared to some of the other plants that we've seen, right? You can see those are very thin. So I wrote thin stems. I also noticed that there's two different shapes of leaves that the pea plant has been growing. There's this kind of, um, you know, shape of a leaf that you, kind of, you usually see that goes like that. It has that shape, but there's also this one I noticed too, down here, I'll put it up. It's kind of a little bit larger. And I also noticed that there are um, not so many roots right now because I took the pea plant out of this pot. Do you remember that? So there's, there's still some roots, but not as much as there used to be, but it's gonna grow some more. And the last thing, yeah, is that it was flopping over, that it really needs all that help to stand up. So those are the, what I was noticing about the pea plant. So I'm gonna put that over here, and then I'm going to get the picture of the corn. So what I was noticing about the corn, let me grab it, is that this, this plant that I have over here, because remember I separated them, so I have them in two spots now. So there are some of the corn stalks that are growing really, really tall. Look, it's hard to even put in the camera view. So I was noticing, look, really, really tall. Hey, the corn's in the way. Excuse me really getting so tall. I also noticed, here come back so you can see it, more than one shade of green. I put two, but actually now that I'm looking, I can see a few more. I also noticed that they're going in different directions. Look at that. They're not all straight. Look, this one has another idea. Where's it going? I don't know. So they're all going in really so many different directions. And I also noticed that there are some parts that look like they're not getting enough water and they're dying. So you can see that the at the base of them, over here you see that one is green still, but then towards the end, 
this part has not been getting enough water, it looks like, so it looks like that's dying. But that happens with plants and that's okay. So then if that's the way that this one keeps going, I'll probably be able to pull it out. So then it'll have enough space for the rest of the plant to keep drinking water and growing taller. And then I also noticed that there are some roots still at the bottom of this one. And yeah, that is all the things that I was noticing about the corn. So now it's your turn, of course, to have a close observation of the purple coneflower and the Shasta daisy. I'm gonna take some good pictures of it, but for right now, that is what you're going to be looking at, okay? I'm excited to see what all of you start observing about these two plants. And remember, as I was saying before, that I sprinkled both of the seeds together so I'm not sure which ones are coneflower and which ones are daisy. Maybe that can be up to you to take a look now and take a careful guess. What's your hypothesis? I did it. So that was my observation of the corn and the peas. So now it is your turn. I'm going to take some pictures and um, video of the coneflower and the daisies. Here they are. So remember, now it's your turn to take a good look at this and see what you see. All right? I'm excited to see what everybody notices.